Welcome to Bonehead Truckers. This is a place where we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that daggum like button. Hit it three times. If I had three thumbs, I had three thumbs. So do it. It make me really happy and it helps beat the algorithms, okay? It tells YouTube to keep us around and not kick us off. So I don't know if you guys seen this. This is in New York where a FedEx sideswiped a vehicle and then uh, with people in it uh, and then went dangling off the side of the bridge. Typical FedEx stuff. I'm sorry, Fe if FedEx, if you're watching this, I'm sure you are because you guys have emailed me before. Uh, we're used to seeing FedEx on bonehead chuckers. This is nothing new. And I've seen them for years, especially in inclement weather. They're, they're always the first in a ditch and it may have something to do with the you know, doubles and triples, the, the, the weight of the load. This in this particular case the weight of the load actually saved people it was empty it was an empty trailer both trailers were empty five people were injured including an infant but everybody survived so that's a good thing that's the reason why i want to do a video about this the problem is we see fedex all the time and that's a sad situation why is it a sad situation because you think that these guys would be the best at what they do why would they be the best at what they do? It's because there's so many of them, and it is an important and a dangerous job. Doubles and triples are some of the most dangerous vehicles out there because you got the wiggle wagons. We call them the wiggle wagons out there. And there's a lot of companies that have doubles and triples, but it's always FedEx. You, you don't hardly ever see UPS out there in a ditch, okay? And that we've I've got a serious problem with this and it's not so much I'm picking on one company I'm picking on y'all the thing to fix this is training and I've been an advocate all my career even before YouTube existed I was an advocate of trainers okay trainers that were at trucking companies have at least four to five years driving a truck before they're able to train rookie drivers, okay? And I've been seeing this for years and years and years, and it's getting worse and worse and worse, that the problem we have in the industry right now is that it's rookies training rookies, and that is a big problem, and I have a huge problem with that. Um, I do believe that companies should be held accountable Hold them set. And I don't mean sitting there making legislation. I don't mean that. I think companies on their own should go and say, hey, we're going to fix this problem. We don't want to see our trucks on bonehead truckers. We don't want to see our trucks all over the freaking mainstream news because it was on the main. This one was on the mainstream news. We don't want to see this. All right. And the best way to do that is to have trained drive properly trained drivers out there now will accidents happen yes they happen to the best drivers it just does but in a situation like this where you have a vehicle maybe a vehicle on the side of the road there shouldn't be no side swiping at all whether you're going down the road or stop the vehicle we need to hold it in our lane and i know in new york this is on the new new york throughway throughway you know sometimes the lanes can get a little skinny but hey, if you're properly trained, or trained, you could handle that. And more importantly, slow it down. You're in these little wiggle wagons going down the road, slow it down. So I've got a challenge to companies like Knight and Swift, Western Express, Werner, Prime, Stevens, all the big mega carriers who are known for being a starter company. And I use starter company because listen, there's a lot of people who retire with these companies. They're not bad companies to work for. They're just not. It just depends on what you want to do. I got a challenge for these guys. Have a policy that says, we won't allow you to be a trainer unless you have five years experience. Five years experience. And this is a tough one. This one's a tough one, Schneider. Schneider. This one's a tough one there, Warner and Swifty Swift. This is tough. Actual the trainer train and not be a a team and this is a problem i had with warner so when i started with warner 
that's where I started back in 2002. In 2006, I actually went back to become a trainer there and they ran us like a team and I didn't agree with it. So I stopped training and I stopped working there. It was, I mean, it wasn't for me. See, I wanted to train at Warner. I wanted to be a trainer. I wanted to freaking, you know, teach drivers how to drive. And, and be in the industry. Way back then, I only had four years experience and I, this is what I wanted to do. And I saw how, how the company's like, hey, it's, we just treat y'all like money. We don't, we don't care about this. We gotta have, you know, uh, trained drivers out here. See, in my opinion, five years experience and have the trainers trained, that means sitting in the jump seat. Sitting in the jump seat over there and drive it, I mean, riding with the trainee and doing the whole day-to-day -day thing. You're not r being run like a team, you're running like a solo truck. Okay, now y'all may switch out, obviously, you know, since a new driver doesn't have this mu that much stamina, but that's what you work on. But don't treat it like a team. Don't treat it like a team, because when you do, I don't think you're getting properly trained. I'm not saying that accidents are gonna happen you know, because there's a trainer in the sleeper, I'm saying it's just not good. Okay, so that's my challenge to every company out there. Have your policy, have your requirements, five years, and then treat it like a solo truck and not a team truck. CR England, I think they're probably the worst out there. FedEx, I don't know. I never attempted to go work. I know they have a lot of third-party contractors that work at Fed FedEx, and that's their business model. I know they have company drivers too. And my thing is, I believe that FedEx should properly vet these drivers. You know, obviously we see a problem. We just do, and I, I get it. There's a lot of trucks out there. I get that, I understand that. They have a lot of trucks, but it just seems like every time, every time the weather gets wet, it gets white and sometimes even dry you see a FedEx in a ditch. And I think it boils down to properly training drivers from day one, from day one. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'll be at the Mid-America Trucking Show next week, March 21st through 23rd. Come see me. I'll be walking around, no booth this year. Maybe next year we'll have one, but come see me. I'll be walking around giving away a little bit of swag, okay? Check you guys later on Bonehead Truck.